Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 5 of season 2 of Fire Force. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, fuck. Well, I mean, because he is main character, so come on. Now. <laughs> No. Shit, it's not. It's over there. What the hell? Do I think that's the corona. Yeah, I'm so wondering how the fuck you can get this shit done. Well, that's one way. Probably the easiest way. I have space to control my user again. Okay. 
detergent. I mean, there's no problem with it. I mean, if you think you have a problem, you know, I mean, shit. Oh. I mean, imagine if he said he was a first gen. He probably really would have got his ass hit. Imagine seeing that right before you died. Like, oh. I know he does like a <laughs> Fucking try. You you don't know unless you try. So just do it. Possibly because you may be hesitating. I don't want him to give up, but I mean, kind of give up, kind of out on that bitch, throwing the white flag, something.
Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, get Inca. Get the fuck out of there. I mean, Inca could have just went like, mm, and just booted it out of there. She's so standing there. <laughs> oh, my. How the? You are just that you? What the fuck? Fuck this, man. Like, oh my god! I know, I would be too angry. Okay, that makes sense, but, uh, I mean, you a fucking madman, though, but hey, Colbert. I'm the one who gets the final bow. Even the most important. So you want the wind to make the fire towards the end? Or do you want the wind to make a twister?
fucking female with a sex fucking ass. Mm, I can't. Huh. Yeah, I'm sure that I'll defeat it, but then, like, okay. I mean, I think I'm going to jump in willingly. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Got you. <laughs> yeah, you got this all day and night. If you fuck up, it's all your fault. Don't hesitate. I swear to God, Obi. Wait, this is why you know why I shouldn't do this. <laughs> See, that's a better idea. That was like what I was originally kind of thinking. <laughs> Come on, damn it. There you go. Oh, I got fireworks. Hmm. Easy. I mean, the way, you know, let me not. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let me not on my dirty mind. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that shit to myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, it really does. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And of course, we gotta wait until next fucking week to see that shit. This was fucking good, but still, I'm gonna say it again. When Shinra knocked the shit out of dude, like, Ava could have just went, like, I mean, come on. These two guys got her, like, what, by both arms? <laughs> so, I mean, you just take your arms up, put them in a nice big X back, and then <laughs> booyah! <laughs> like, fucking run, like, you stole from the girl. I mean, shit. I don't, like, I, I love her, but I feel like now what they're kind of doing with her, because she is captured by the bad guys, they're about to make her into a fucking damsel in distress kind of character, because she was the only one who can fucking save her, which I ain't mad at it, but at the same time, I am mad at it, because I'm like, nah, I like to see, you know, some of my favorite female characters be, you know, an independent bitch, and be badass as fuck, and kick them ass when she needs to, like, Maki, she stepped up today, and I'm fucking happy and proud of her because mm, she's still best girl in my book. But oof, I mean, mm, this is a good episode. Now I just need to see the rest of Shinra's fight, Arthur's fight, and then bam, that's it. I don't need to see anything else. But I don't know. I mean, Inka, I love you. I really do. You are probably one of the cutest, creepiest characters. I have ever met as of right now, but mm, mm, you're not leaving the greatest taste in my mouth right now with how you're going with your development. She fucking goes with them. She fucking goes with them. And it ain't like, oh yeah, you gotta fucking go. They ain't dragging her. She going. Okay, I mean, you know what? Hey, and, and you know what? I kind of knew that. I think the very first time I was like, yeah, this girl is just gonna go. Not by um, her own choice. She was in the window. Like, they were gonna demand her to go, but she's going willingly. And you know what? I like that. I like that we seeing a bad bitch. She doing whatever the fuck she want. Whatever she 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 has like two paths. And so it's like you either go with the bad guys or you go with Shinra and them. And instead of her like looking at but well, she's looking at both passes and she's like, you know what? Fuck both of y'all. I'm just gonna make my own path. She's willingly going into it. Now, what she's about to go into, I have no freaking clue. I mean, I feel like the biggest thing that I want from episode six to the second half of this season is for, I, I want a conversation between her and Cho. I don't know how that would go with those two, but I think it would be a very interesting one because, I mean, Cho is Cho, and I love him so much. He's a precious baby boy. <laughs> like, mm, he's just so cute and adorable, and I want him so bad. But, I mean, I don't know, I, because Cho's very intelligent, and Inka is very intelligent as well, and so I think having a conversation with those together, having those two, like, really interesting minds together, I think that'll do, like, really crazy things for um the group <laughs> but I mean I think 
if it seems like it's gonna go the way I think it's gonna go from that preview next week, maybe because of this, this is really going to possibly bring Sheena's confidence down for an episode or two. I don't know. But, I mean, he's getting his ass handed to him. Part one. And then this is part two of him getting his ass handed to him next week. And then on top of that, not being able to save the person that you were supposed to save slash bring in. I think that's going to really take, like, his confidence to the lowest point. To, I don't know. I don't think he'll have a breakdown, but he might be depressed about it and such. And I mean, the only one who can get him out of that right is Arthur, because that is technically his boyfriend, even though, uh, like, there is no shipping moments between them, but they argue like a god dang married couple. So, I mean, come on now. He's the only one that can kind of get Shinra out of his rut. So, we'll have to see next week. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episode 5 of season 2 of Fire Force. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday. Hopefully, with the storm coming this weekend, that nothing happened for episode 6. Bye, guys.